Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Guys, and welcome to the Thursday Fly Fishing Report for Texas. This is a report that I generate, attempt to put out every Thursday running into Friday so the people who fly fish on the weekend can have a good shot at going and fly fishing at different locations here in Texas. This weekend is Valentine's, so Saturday, mark your calendar, February 14th. You might not want to fly fish, but maybe you uh, have a spouse who's very understanding or even fly fishes with you. That's great. Buy her a chocolate fly and go fishing. Otherwise, build up those bonus points on Saturday, forget about it, and uh, live to fight another day. Live to fight a fish another day anyway. Uh, what I'm seeing on reports lately, especially uh, on the Texas Gulf Coast, is that we've got plenty of fish to catch out there. And one guy that I'm looking at really close and is posting a lot of photos on Facebook, for better or worse, is Billy Trimble. Captain Billy Trimble is a guy I've been out with in the past. He's out of Aransas Pass, Port Aransas area. Really knows his, his terrain, so to speak. Fishes off a of stilt, which is a nice, really, really nice skiff that's locally made here in Texas. And check out Billy Trimble and see uh, what he's doing, at least on Facebook. If you've got a Facebook account, unfortunately, you know, a lot of these guys are, are feeding directly into Facebook. And if you don't have a Facebook account, you're kind of not up on the most current information that fly fishers are putting out. They just figure, they just that's where they put out their information. So for better or worse, that's where you find them. Um, as far as locally, here in North Texas, you know we're just a hop, skip, and a jump from the Oklahoma border. This weekend the weather is kind of in flux. You know we finally cooled off from what was extraordinarily high temperatures for February. Don't forget Valentine's this weekend, and. Uh, so we're getting back into a normal flow of things. Water temperatures stayed down. It never got warm long enough to really bring water temperatures on lakes up or anything like that. So our best option right now is actually heading over across the border to Blue River or Beaver's Bend. I noticed uh, that there is a club that's going to Beaver's Bend. It's the Fort Worth Fly Fishers. They're going next weekend, which will be perfect timing, I think, with the weather situation, the way it's going to be during the week. For North Texas, the weather is actually going to be more in line during the week than this weekend for actually going after and catching rainbow trout, say in Beaver's Bend or Blue River. And I've seen plenty of photos coming from Beaver's Bend lately of brown trout as well. So that's pretty exciting stuff when you start moving away from the pure synthetic nature of the rainbow trout that are stocked there and into brown trout, which are, they're also stocked, but they're very, uh, very native looking these days. They're beautiful fish. So that's what you want to do. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a situation where the weather is, is dictating what's going on and then the Texas Gulf Coast has been kind of spared from a lot of these huge variations in weather that we have here. Uh, in North Texas, as the fronts pass through, they definitely hit us here in North Texas and reach sometimes all the way to Houston, but all that results in by the time it gets to Houston is maybe a little bit of rain and then it just warms right back up. Think about uh, the Texas Gulf Coast this weekend. I, I have not seen it turn off for the winter yet, so that's that's still on and still possible. Of course, the looking might might take a little longer, but when you find these reds, I've seen some nice sized redfish now being caught on the coast. And you know, a lot of guides in Texas, like Scott and all, they'll they'll go to Louisiana during this time of year and just clean up on bull reds because that's just basically a, a spawning ground for redfish in Louisiana and down in the marshes. And definitely, if you can book him, I'm not sure if he's still there or not, but there's plenty of people working over in the uh, marshes in Louisiana, and it's really just becoming a world famous spot for huge redfish. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. I'm spending a lot of time on the Airstream trailer. You can look at that at AirstreamDiary.com if you want. That's going to be our home away from home in the future. And, you know, I had a tip come out earlier in the week about how to uh, maintain your Sims boots. Take a look at that, you know, if you're interested in taking care of and making your gear last longer than average like I do. 
Uh, I've got another tip for you today. I always uh, try to find one that I can throw in at the end, and this one's about this adhesive that I use. I use it a lot for things other than tying flies, and it's called E6000. You can find this stuff at um, Hobby Lobby, and it's extraordinarily good adhesive, but the problem I've had with it is that the lid is, <laughs> will get adhered to the, to the tube, and you can't use it anymore. So the tip I got was to just take a little Vaseline and put it in the lid or on the threads and screw that back on and suddenly you can get the lid off again. So that's, that's your tip for the day when you're using adhesives that tend to stick. Try some Vaseline and see if that will keep them from, from sticking together. Another tip coming out and this is coming out next week. It will be a standalone tip. And let me, uh, let me just give you the hint. Go get yourself a pair of these Susan Bates Circular Knitting Needles. They look like this right here. And what those are is uh, something you'd find at Joann's or a place like that. They're circular knitting needle needles and they are uh, stuck together with a big thick piece of monofilament. So what you would want to do is just get that pair. They're $1.99. And I'll do a tip next week and show you how to use these in fly fishing, actually. And it's not for tying flies, but it's actually for something else that we need, especially in salt water. And uh, I think it's virtually a, a perfect solution to, to something that we need in, in fly fishing. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Remember your Valentine. And we'll see you back here next week here at Texas Fly Caster YouTube channel or be sure and check out all the information, a lot of writing at www.texasflycaster.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Thanks also goes out to the sponsors. If you need more information, be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com. And if you have any information about fly fishing in Texas, feel free to share it and we'll be glad to get it on the report.